Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning Michelle. We had a new Zoom introduction there, welcoming us, and we're all stunned. We don't know what to do. Yeah, that's, that's the future. <laughs> all right, it's the end of May, and we just wanted to get together and say hi, because we haven't seen each other in a bit. Life has been crazy. And we kind of want to talk about what's going on as this transitions into part of us being fortunate enough to go out and maybe do a little dance in these days, and some of us not, depending on where you live, whether you're in the States or in Canada, and how that affects us with the masks, and can we wear them, and do we want to dance, and what does it feel like, and so that's what we're here to talk about, gentlemen. And David, just before we hit record, we were starting to talk about the fact that you have just started going out dancing the last couple of weeks. And just to give us a timeline, we're at the end of May right now for you viewers listening and watching. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So it's been over a year and uh, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Like I have a little, I have a little spot in my, in my basement where I can dance and I have a, I have a dance partner, my wife and I dance, but it's, and as much as I love dancing with her, it's not the same as going out and having the ambiance of being on a dance floor and with other people and being able to dance with other people. I wasn't sure how ready I was going to be physically, <laughs> frankly, right? Yes, I, 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 haven't, I, I have to admit, I'm not in as good a shape as I was uh, pre-pandemic. Um, There's a whole other tangent, right? We could talk right, about whole, that. Whole discussion right. about that. Wow, yeah. I... I wasn't sure, and in the places I'm going, you have to you have to dance wearing a mask, and I wasn't sure what that was going to feel like. I, I feel it probably almost like altitude training or something for for extreme athletes. Some of the venues will only accept patrons who are fully vaccinated, so you have to go and have your COVID passport or what have you. Probably a good idea. Uh, it makes me feel a little bit safer for sure, even though I am vaccinated. But then you know the attendees are all vaccinated as well, and you're in right. Uh, and, and I feel safe in two senses of the word, right? So, in, in part for myself, but more so that I feel safe that I'm not putting anyone else at risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've been out dancing. What about you, Cal? What's going on in your world? So just so people know, if you're new to our podcast, David is in New York, and Kelly is in Chicago. And where are you at, Michelle? I'm in the Niagara region of Ontario in Canada, where we can't do anything yet. So I have nothing to contribute in the dance world, but I'm excited to hear what's going on in the States. Well, so Kelly, I mean, what's your world like? So first of all, you do have something to contribute because you're just, you're like a delayed response of where we were at in the U.S., right? right. And I don't necessarily think we're in a better position because there's a whole lot of issues we're going to talk about about the Oh, yeah, place. we all have issues, that's for sure. Um, for sure. But I think <laughs> in, in, in Chicago, literally, it was this week that they changed the mask mandate. So the mandate is, um, if you're fully vaccinated, it's up to the business owner whether or not they can make masks mandated right? Which is kind of a big screw you, I think, from the government, because now individual owners have to police and they have to deal with the fallout of people being big crybabies, is what I think, but whatever. I don't want to get too opinionated. Right? <laughs> we have to tiptoe with our politics here. Just in case. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So yeah. um, me personally, I'm fully vaccinated and I even had COVID. So I have all the antibodies and I have all that other stuff, but I'm still wearing a mask for the, another week or two, because I want to see what happens with the numbers. Um, social dancing in Chicago has been open for a little while, but I personally didn't start social dancing again until I was fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So, um, so was it open? Like it's been open for a while, Kel? Like what do you mean a while? For a little while. I make it sound like it's been open for months. It, it hasn't. Okay. Um, it just seems like it because it had started opening up while I was not vaccinated. So okay. for me, it felt like forever because I knew this cool thing was happening that I love, but I also didn't want to take the chance, right. right? Which oddly enough, I didn't change my habits and I ended up getting COVID randomly. Like and right. everyone around me didn't get it. So I still no idea where the hell I picked it up at. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad I was extra safe and I'm glad that I had it and I'm now better, but yeah. Great. Okay, so let me just um, ask a few questions to both of you regarding your attendance at these dances. What is the attendance like? What is the, is there a lot of people? Is it quiet? Is it busy? Are people engaging and dancing with others? David, What's I like the vibe? What's yeah. the vibe? So the two venues I've been at, 
and so it's only, it hasn't been very long since I've, I've returned, uh, both have um, caps on attendance. So it's reduced capacity. Uh, that's part of what they're doing. And you have to register online beforehand. So these places, I used to just show up and pay at the right. door. Right. Okay. So you that's, have to pre-register and then there's a cap on, on the number right. of, of bodies. Okay. Right. So I don't, I'm not sure what the caps were. I, I'm, I'm sure they documented it, but I just couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Uh, but I'd say it was somewhere around half. Uh, it seemed like from what I was used to, right? About half the number of people. And, um, and the, they, they've had other precautions in place. So the one venue they have like a kitchen off to the side, you can go in and they've got using cakes and, and food and beverages and stuff. And that was gone, right? right. They said, we can't do that. The other place uh, also provided beverages kind of off to the side, you know, large bottles of soda and other, you know, similar kinds of things. And they are only now offering these little single serve uh, cans. Right, grab one and go. Um, Right, yeah. you get your own, no, no yeah. touching the same bottles and stuff. And, they, and they've got sanitizers out around and stuff, but. Are you dancing with other people though? I mean, that's part of this weird thing that sort of like feels new to everyone. I, I, I have, now the one place I go to, I often go to as a dance host. Okay. And that place is not doing dance, uh, or is not supplying dance hosts right now for for whatever reason. I've heard of some other venues where they don't require attendees having being vaccinated, but they will say their dance hosts, if they have dance hosts, are vaccinated, right? Okay. So uh, any like any professionals or dance hosts are vaccinated. I guess that's just to help make attendees feel safer, but they're not requiring it of the general attendees. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Cal? What's going on with your experience out there? I feel like we're like, um, what is that? Uh, Frere Jaca to where it's like, then it echoes. And then it's like, you know what I mean? That song, right? I feel like the three of us are doing that. Because Michelle, you got the extreme lockdown, which is where we were at uh, a little while ago. Uh, and David, you've got the kind of opening the door, which is where in Chicago we were at a little while ago. And like this week, we seem to be further past that. Uh, I'm not going to say what's best. I'm not going to say what I feel. I'm just commenting on it from what the restrictions are. So for us, it started with uh, exactly David's situation, right? Uh, limited to half capacity, no rotation, no nothing, right? Like you had your partner and you had to pre-register. Well, I wow. think within the past... Uh, let's see. I started dancing. I started social dancing, I think, like uh, two weeks ago, okay. right? So it had been going on before that. Before that, it was very much like David was talking. And I'd say within these past two weeks, I've noticed such a change here in Chicago. So uh, the new rules are uh, fully vaccinated people do not count against capacity. So you could have a full club. Oh. Right? Uh, masks are uh, business mandated. So some places still require them. Some places are doing the whole honor system. So it's hit or miss, right? Um, and I think now places also allow rotation, open rotation. So in you can group dance class, with anybody. Well, yeah, you can dance with anybody. You can like do whatever. So in group class now, because I started teaching at my normal group class spot, um, I have the people who aren't going to rotate. I just put them at the end. Like, no, I don't make them feel bad, but like, right. and then I still rotate for the people who want to rotate, right? And then in the open dancing, it literally feels like a regular night of dancing because the crowd's decent numbers, right? Yeah. Um, which is, I'm not going to lie, it's wonderful because it feeds the soul, but it's frightening because we're still in the midst of a pandemic. So yeah. like, I'm kind of back and forth. I'm kind of like, yeah, I like dancing, but then I'm like, okay, I got to sanitize. Like, I don't like what's happening. So I myself, I'm still wearing a mask for uh, probably another week or so. I'm fully vaccinated, but uh, I just want to, I want to watch the numbers because I mean, the numbers aren't, they're going to tell us whether this is a good idea or a bad idea. And if it's a good idea for us to be maskless while we're vaccinated, the worst thing that happened is I just wore a mask a couple extra weeks and I'm fine with that. 
Um, yeah. It's, so it's, what's it what's it like for both of you dancing with the mask? Because some of these viewers might be like, ass. well, completely right. kicks my ass. Like I'm not gonna lie, the what was it Thursday night was our East Coast Lindy night. Oh, and Lindy in a mask. Okay. And I'm like, I, this was our second one that we've done, and like the first one wasn't bad. Like I was like, okay. It's tough, but I just take my time. And I don't know what it was about this past Thursday, whether the humidity or whether uh, I'm completely out of shape. I don't know what was happening, but I was dying. Like I went through four different shirts and that's, and I should have changed sooner, but it's like, holy cow. Like the next day, I literally felt like I was in a fight. Like I was, my whole body was like, what the hell are you doing? You're not young anymore. Get back in shape. Like, it kicked my ass. It really did. It was fun, but it kicked my ass. What about you, David? You had, you had sort of just briefly touched on the fact that how am I going to be because I don't feel the same fitness level. And then you go back in with the same mental idea that you're going to be able to crush it and you're going to get out there and things are going to be fine. And then your body's like, Hey, haven't done this in a year. What's going on? So how is yeah, it? For, for sure. So I, I probably like most people should maintain, be focused on maintaining a better level of fitness generally. And it's not like I don't do any exercise or anything, but I have to say dancing pre-pandemic was a fair amount of my physical activity. Sure. And that just kind of went away. And I realized I work from home. And so I don't even get the exercise, the daily exercise of like when I get to work, walking through the parking lot and through a large building and stuff like that, right? It's much more sedentary. Uh, so you have to kind of force yourself to go for walks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have to say, I'm probably not as in good a shape as I was pre-pandemic. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like going out and dancing in a mask. And in fact, we had heard about a dance uh, weekend that my wife and I have been to a number of times in the past. And they announced that they were going to start up again in in June and it was good it's a it's a very large venue uh they require everyone going to be vaccinated but they still say you must be wearing a mask the whole time and uh, and we hesitated about signing up as much as we were like eager to get back to it because we thought do we want to be like wearing a mask for a dance weekend the whole weekend right in a mask uh, and so we didn't sign up in, initially until we had a chance to actually have our vaccinations come into effect uh, mm -hmm. in waiting the two week period after the last shot and just doing a trial run of going out for an evening social dancing and to see what it's like. And it was, it's certainly tougher wearing the mask, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. And so in fact, we have now registered, we're going to go to that dance weekend in another month. But, uh, you know, there are times where, like the one venue I'm, I'm at, it's, it's like a big community center and they've got like doors to the outside on, on a few of the walls mm -hmm. and they open them up because it was a nice day. And there were several times during the evening, I had to just kind of like step outside, take the mask up, <laughs> right? Get some good breaths. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was probably resting a little bit more. So normally I dance and dance and dance and dance and I don't really sit out many songs and I think I was taking more breaks sure okay. sure you know what I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do one thing first of all I'm going to um, make a strong suggestion that viewers give us some feedback about their experience so here's here are your rules viewers you're going to tell us where you are you're going to tell us whether you're dancing or not and what the experience is like for you so that we can have a little bit of interaction on this and you can participate and we can feel like there's dancers out there in the world wherever you live and just let us know what this is like for you at this point in time. We're almost halfway through 2021 and we have some very diverse experience right now about what's happening with this. So I'm going to say let's wrap it up on the conversation of dancing with the mask as we try to re-enter the dance floor and stay tuned because we're going to have another podcast about what this fitness world is like for us that have had such a break. So thank you for this guys. Let's wrap yep. it up and then we'll go and do another one and we'll have a whole bunch of new podcasts on the, on the website. And I will say you can reach us at info at oh, yeah. dance. 
that's kind of important said hey talk to us and then how do you do that <laughs> david always takes care of those technical things at the end you'll see it uh, all right thank you